What's going on? How are you guys this week? We're down here at Frankie's Free Range Meat, and as usual, I'm trying to stay positive through all the nonsense. Today was kind of unusual. Uh, I went to the bank, and Citibank locked my account for no reason, so I can't pay my employees. A little bit uh, worried about that, but with, with everything that happens to me, I guess it's just typical. And then I went to Whole Foods, and their payment system was down, and I had cash on me, so I was able to just get something quick to eat before I came into work. But uh, before I start complaining too much, we do have some positives today. So the more black soap came in last week for Frankie's Naturals. And long awaited, the Mastic Gum, which was held at Customs for two weeks. This is actually several thousand dollars worth of Mastic Gum. So this stuff is, is very, very, very expensive with all of the, the regulations. Uh, you know, it only comes from one island in Greece, Kios. So we're going to have this back in stock for you guys, which I'm excited about. And the guys have been working as usual since 7 a.m. to fill all the meat orders. They did most of the ones that we had already from last week, and now they're just gonna do the 30 or so orders that we had from Sunday. And the post office has been a complete nightmare lately, having to schedule online pickups. They don't come half the time, so I, I've had packages sitting here since Thursday, but what can I do? USPS in the Bronx, definitely not known for their reliability. So the bad news this week is the garage door broke again, and it's probably broken about three or four times in the past uh, few months. And the company actually just serviced it two weeks ago, and then it stopped working. And I called them, thankfully they sent the guy over quickly to fix it. And then he says on the phone, hey, you need a new motor, that, that there's something's wrong with it. And I was like, okay, if I need a new motor, why didn't you tell me something was wrong with it two weeks ago when you serviced it? And the guy says, new motor's gonna be 2,000. I think a garage door motor is like $1,000. So I was like, hey, what is it, $1,000 for the motor, $1,000 to service? And I, I just, I can't get jerked around. And the reason I'm bringing that up is because I spoke about it in the, in the Q&A uh, yesterday. And I'm just like leaning more and more and more to just getting out of this because if you're not mechanically inclined, if you don't know how to fix stuff, if you're not able to figure things out, every single week you're going to get fucked for 500, 1,000, 1,500, $2,000 just to keep the business running. And I, I really can't deal with it anymore, you know? I, I, guys, I, I can afford to buy a farm, you know? I can get a loan for 100 or $200,000, a loan for that amount very easily, lease a farm and start running it. However, if I do that, I know I'm gonna go broke within two months. I have no clue how to run a farm, paying people to fix it, that type of stuff. I, I know I can't do that. So being in this type of business, the meat stuff, not being, having that you know, engineering capability is um, it's definitely, definitely discouraging. And as much as I've tried to focus on the positive, stick to what I'm good at, the marketing, the creativity, it, it hasn't been enough to overcome that. We got the Bolivian rose salt in stock, as usual. Whey proteins here, water kefir. We might have messed up a batch, um, seeing how it continues to ferment, but we might not have some water kefir for a couple weeks or uh, a week or two. Flextrose, of course, is in stock. We have the pemmican available for you guys. I got some eco-friendly bags. So if you guys haven't tried out the pemmican, we have a decent amount available now. We did sell out of several hundred last week, but I had my guys make some. And the, the best bars haven't been moving as quickly because we have the pemmican now, but I think overall the sales in general are up. So I'm just gonna drink some water kefir, have a little bit of something to eat, <laughs> kind of get drunk so I don't have to Think about the nonsense I've already dealt with today. And uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, we'll take a quick look in the freezer, see what's going on this week. Still have a ton of these 12 ounce New York strip steaks to give away. Uh, so I got a deal on these originally and I was just planning on selling them as a New York strip just to try to make a little more profit. But you guys weren't too happy with these compared to the regular, uh, the thicker one pound strip steaks, uh, which we have some over here, some of these. So we're just going to give away the 12 ounce until we're kind of out of them. I'm probably taking a loss on it, but it's for the benefit of the customer. Sirloin steaks are back in stock. Oh, we got some sirloin stew meat too. I got to put the stew meat in stock for you guys. Low on flank steak. Low on picanha steak. I didn't realize that. Plenty of beef belly in stock. We got the whole short ribs that you guys haven't been buying too much of, but we're still moving it. Plenty of ground venison, the five pound packages. 
Something new we got is veal sweetbreads, which are the pancreas, new organ meat, which we haven't had in a while. Uh, we're blowing through the beef tendons, which is not good because I don't have that many. I'm gonna have to increase the price on those. The rabbit liver and rabbit kidney are now in one kilogram packages, 2.2 pounds. Ran out of lamb brains, but we do have some veal brains in stock for you guys. Outside of that, we're not looking too good. <laughs> I don't know guys, this freezer is looking emptier and emptier and my bank account's getting lower and lower. So we'll see what happens over the next week or two. I gotta get some stuff back in stock. Uh, so I forgot to mention earlier that uh, we're still having problems with the electric bill and the rent. Uh, the, the hot water stopped working last week. The heat is not working at all. It's getting colder into winter. Con Edison was supposed to come by on Friday of last week to take a look at the electric meter to see why the bill's so high. They didn't show up, so I was a little irritated because I came in early on Friday to, to wait for them. So I got to call Con Edison again, see what's going on because I cannot afford a $1,500 electric bill. So the main, the main negatives, the main problems we're looking at this week is, you know, is this garage door going to break? Can we get the electric bill and the rent sorted out, which has been an ongoing problem for almost a year now. And neither my landlord or Con Edison want to help me out on that. But let's look downstairs to see what's up. Cleaned up the office a little bit. Got rid of the garbage. Just a little more organizing to do. <clears throat> Stocked up on some towels and bleach, mainly to dump down the drains. We don't use that to clean anything. This is the animal feed that I gotta bring up to that guy because I'm not using it and I don't know when the hell I'm gonna get a farm. Everything on Frankie's Naturals and Wi-Fi shielding is just the same as last week. Still need to make the deodorant. We did, uh, what the hell did I make last week? I don't even remember. <clears throat> Wi-Fi shielding stuff looking okay. Oh, we made the magnesium oil last week. So organ supplements, everything is looking good and stocked up. I have had a problem with the vitamin D settling on the bottom. And you guys are saying that you can heat it up and mix it. But uh, I'll, have to see, I'll have to see if this needs to be remade. As I mentioned earlier, the Masticum is back in stock. They changed the packaging for some reason, but it's the exact same stuff. It's the small tiers. Uh, we have quite a few now, so you guys that have been waiting for the Masticum. If you haven't seen my video on it, H. pylori, Masticum, definitely check it out. And the bovine powders as well as enzymes, we are slowly stocking back up. Everything looking good. Full spectrum organs, immune strength, thyroid, big brain. Maybe we just need to make some more thyroid. Uh, a bit more full spectrum male virility and we'll be all stocked up. I mean, just being in New York City and breathing in the air down here and shit is not good, but... I inhaled some enzyme powder earlier and I think it's dissolving my vocal cords because I can't, you guys can hear the difference in my voice. I don't know what the hell happened. <clears throat> the, uh, well, if that's any proof that the enzymes I'm selling work, <laughs> I, guess, I guess they're dissolving both my lungs and my vocal cords. So if you do want carnivore digestive enzymes, they will certainly dissolve the steak in your stomach. I don't think there's anything else to cover today, and since I'm quickly losing my voice, <laughs> I'm going to wrap up this video. I guess you guys will find out tomorrow if I can still speak. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, if you can please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, share this on any other social media you have access to, make sure to subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. So, that being said, you guys can see all my businesses available on frankdestefan.com. And for the sake of my health, maybe you guys can support me so I don't uh, gravely injure myself down in this warehouse by inhaling different enzyme powders.